Hello guys, and so in this video, we will continue looking at um, um, step number 25. In the last video, we ended with step number um, 24, and in this one, we start to look at step 25. And in step 25, we are actually creating some reports. Okay, so using fields from the books table, produce a targeted report that selects the records where tied to include the text night volume is more than 6,000 if it does not include cotton. Um, contains a new field called sales value, which is packeted at one time and displayed with the same currency formatting as RRP and ASP uh, fields. So this field will multiply the volume field by the ASP field. Shows only the fields title, imprint, pub, uh, date, binding, volume, ASP, and sales volume in this order, with data and labels displayed in full. So do not group the data. Sort the data in ascending order of binding, then descending order of volume, and enhance the page orientation of landscape. Fits on a single page wide, includes only the text, high volume book sales as the titles displayed in large font size at the top of the page. Has your name, the number, and candidate number in the footer of the report um, to display on every page. Okay, so that's basically what we're doing. Very simple stuff. Okay, so we will, um, I will just uh, minimize this. No, it's not this one. Um, I'll go to access and uh, my access is already minimized. I'll just print up the question paper, drag this from this side, uh, minimize this. So, pardon me, I'm trying to use two screens at the same time so that it just minimizes me switching between the, the, the screen. And um, if this font is too small for you to see, some of you I know you watch these videos with your um, with your, your phones, um, please do comment below and just let me know if. Um, if this font um, um, or the way I've minimized the screen is too small for you to read, uh, and in the next coming videos, I will um, I try to use the full screen. Okay. Um, okay. So for now, let's go ahead and um, um, do that. So I'm going to just close this, and we're going to create the report. So I'm going to create. Um, we are building a query first of all. So query design, and we are using tables. Um, um, I mean. Fields from the books table, so I'll select the books table, close this one, and then I'll have these fields now listed in this order. So the first thing that we want to do is to start with this point. Okay, start with this point. It's the one that shows you which field we are going to be using. So let's go ahead with this field. So the first field is the title, followed by imprint, followed by pub date, followed by binding, then volume, ASP and sales value now sales value um, this is where we come to the next one which is this uh, one that we're going to do next let me just change the color for this one let's put it as green okay so that's the one we're going to do next this one um so just um this is where i maximize it uh, or i close this one yeah i just need to maximize it so this field um, is a field calculated runtime. It's called sales value, and how we find this field is that we simply multiply uh, multiply the volume field by the ASP field. Okay, um, volume by the ASP field. So just come here, um, maximize this so that I can have some space, and now we just maximize this so that we can see the formula. So it's called um, um, uh, sales value. So just type sales uh, underscore value okay and then a colon like that then square bracket um, volume square bracket multiplied by square bracket ASP square bracket okay and that should be the formula for finding that run it and you'll see that the sales volume value is now shown um, like that okay that should be fine the next thing, if you take it back to design view, this should be formatted just like the other one. So format it as currency to two decimal places. Although by default, um, if these two columns are formatted as currency and to two decimal places, this one will also inherit the properties of these two fields, um, uh, which is um, uh, rather um, the ASP as well as the uh, the RRP uh, fields. Okay. So then we can add other attributes um, here. Let's come here. So the title includes the text night. So here we'll go to um, title. It should include the text night. So it means start with asterisk and then night like that. Okay, should include night. If they said it should end with night, then we should just have something like this. Um, star night 
if they say that it should start with night, then we should have night and then star at the end. Because we don't care what comes at the end, but as long as it starts with night. That's what these um, um, word card means. Okay, so get there. And then the next one, um, you can go ahead and run it and verify that um, title includes night. You see midnight, like uh, last night, and so on. Uh, there's vampire something also. I don't like vampires. <laughs> So this is vampire diaries. You see people right watching uh, watching horror uh, horror movies. Um, I mean, I, I don't watch horror movies. I don't like punishing myself. I mean, you guys who watch horror movies, why do you punish yourself? <laughs> it's like tormenting yourself. Come on, watch comedy, laugh. Okay, laugh the more. It is actually proven that um, uh, I mean, laughter is medicine to your body. So why should you torment yourself? And then you start dreaming in the night that uh, Dracula is sucking your blood. It's not good. <laughs> You're watching a horror movie. You're watching a horror movie and the following day you've got an exam. What do you expect to get? You can't pass that exam. <laughs> and the examiner says, five minutes remaining. You think it's Dracula telling you you have five minutes to your life. And <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's be serious. Stop watching horror movies for now. Okay, let's watch Mr. Bean comedy and stuff like that okay so yeah okay good um so the volume is supposed to be uh, more than six thousand okay so let's go ahead and set the volume to six thousand so take it back to design view and the volume is supposed to be more than six thousand so just say greater than six thousand and um go back to question paper so this one is done and then we need imprint does not include so actually it's the opposite of this one so does not include so we are going to say um imprint which is this one does not include so we we'll say not okay and then we'll put the asterisk sign and say um does not include proton so you need to type it as it is so proton okay and that should be fine so not like proton so that should be fine um the next one uh, is this one okay the rest of them we can do them in the report I think for the query we are done okay so just save your query um, save it and this is step number 25 so always say step 25 query and save it okay close it and now we can go ahead and create a report so go to report wizard you're building a report based on the query you just created so step 25 query Get in all the fields and go to next and then um, go to next next and here this is where you change now the orientation of the page change it to landscape and make this one fit on a single page wide landscape and adjust its uh, field width so all fields fit on a page that's that's what single page wide next and then um, the title of the report the title of the report is here so we can get uh, this one high volume book sales as a title so high volume book book sales okay um okay and finish so once you finish um, notice some hashtags that just mean that the few names are, are, are short so you need to adjust them okay the field um, sizes small Okay, so the next thing that we just need to do, two things that we just need to do, sort the data in the ascending order of magnitude. But first of all, let's work around the layout and just make sure that everything is perfect. So just close print preview, open it in layout view, and let's um, work on this. So these at the end, I don't mind them, they're um, basically okay. So I'll just reduce maybe the size of this, um, like that, and then um, this one, the volume. I'll push it to the right. Just I'm just using my key on my right key on my keyboard, um, just to make sure that I um, um, just to make sure that my data is is actually fully visible. Okay. Um, then not necessarily that my data is fully visible, but I'm I'm trying to say I was thinking about something else. I'm trying to say um, so that. It doesn't change the alignment if you try to drag this with the mouse for example like this you try to move it 
find sometimes it may move um, like you may tamper with that using one of them so if you just move it with your key uh, like that and it will be much better okay and get published let's enlarge it okay and move it to the right okay let's find imprint just verify that context is cut we'll reduce it its size a bit and move it to the right as well and then for um, title we'll just enlarge it a little bit so that the titles are fully visible that should be fine um, yeah that should be fine okay good um, so we should now view this in um, um, in print preview and we see now that we have um, nice text but again we need to perform some formatting just to make sure this is a large font the font size should be large and um, i don't like the lines that we have here we can remove these gray and white lines uh, there i think um, we need to figure out a way of removing them but let's make this bold um, uh, let's make this bold here well let's get like that and this one well come on um okay just take it to design view um life is easy you don't have to struggle so in design view i want to make this bold um just to make sure that it is um, make it black stand out and then this one i'm going to make it bold but a larger font like maybe 28 and just push this down and maximize this like that okay that looks good and i'll make it a black text as well uh, let's view it in print preview now that looks much better okay that looks much better um but again i don't i don't like these lines the shadings and stuff like that so um we can always um change the shadings i think if we take it to layout view can i change it from layout view um here back color or turn it to back color so just come here and say um color let's it's this one darker and say no color and it should it should go okay so let's view it now um go to home view print preview and it looks perfect um i like the shade gray shade in there it looks good as well i'll leave it as it is but um if you don't mind you can remove it but i like it like that but um this other one looks good if they told you to display the grid lines and stuff like that then it will be i mean you need to show those lines but for now i mean we can leave it at this so let's go ahead and add some details notice that we have got one of two pages and the second page is this one okay so you need to be very careful here if you've got more than um one page okay um two pages or more if you want um, um you need to be very careful when you add your candidate details okay but before we add our candidate details let's add the sort and um, we are sorting uh we're sorting the data into ascending order of binding and then descending order of volume ascending order of binding so add the sort sort by binding head to on top and then another sort volume sort by um descending largest to smallest that should be fine okay the last one that we need to do is this one as your name center number and get the number in the footer of the report so that it is displayed on every page now the difference is that if you go to design view if you put your candidate details in the report footer it will just be displayed on the first page but if you if you've got more than one page then you need to put your candidate details in the um in the page uh footer okay this is very important guys you need to put your candidate details in the page footer if you've got more than one um more than one page in your report if you just have one page it doesn't matter whether it's in the footer or it's in the report footer it doesn't matter but if you've got more than one page then um, you need to put your details in the page footer so i'm going to insert um some details in the page footer so go to design get a label and put it here and i'll just put chikasa evans zm556 and 001 okay as my candidate details and go ahead and view your report 
and you will notice that on page one, um, um, I mean, on every page now, I will have, um, then on page two, I have my candidate details, um, just like on page one, I have my candidate details. Okay? Save that, and that should be done. Okay. So um, we're done with the first part of um, um, this video, and um, the next part we'll do uh, is um, step number 25. So print out, save, and print your report. Make sure that you've entered your name, send the number, and number, and report. Export the report created in step 25 in rich text format and save the exported file in your work area. Um, so we need to export this into a rich text format. So come to external data and um, um, first of all save it, close it, and then we need to export it. So we can export to Excel, we can export to text file, XML file, PDF, and so on. But we need to go to more uh, to export to rich text format. So select rich text format, and then uh, it'll be in the same work area. So I'll just say browse, and then that should be fine. Um, exported, successful, and that should be fine. We go back to the question, it asks you to place an evidence document a screenshot to show that the file has actually been ex saved in uh, exported in, and saved in your work area. Make sure that there's evidence of file type. So go back to this one, and the file in question is this one. And make sure that um, 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 I'm just going to do this. Just make sure that the file type is visible, rich text format. So I'll go here and get this, just this here, and paste it in the evidence document. Let's go ahead and paste it under evidence line. Okay, I hope that was evidence line anyway. Okay, so close this. So that was evidence nine, and um, so I'll do the other part of the report. Um, I don't know if I should do it in another video. Let me just confirm how much time I've used in my pen. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and cut this one and do the other part in the next video. Okay. So see you shortly in the next video.